Welcome along to AT TV, and with me we have the guy behind Two Times You, and he has just got back from his first time in Kona competing at the Ironman World Championships. Welcome back to Australia, even though you're only going to be here for a little bit of time. How was your first experience in Kona? Coming from training in the uh, Australian winter to doing Hawaii was very hard. Yep. I mean, I didn't um, comprehend totally just how hot it was going to be, and obviously it was a hot day. Um, but it was great. I mean, like I, I did nine hours forty, and I wanted to go around nine twenty. But considering the conditions there, it, it was a, it was a good solid day. I'm pretty happy. Heading, heading over there, first time to go to Kona, first experience racing. Did it did it meet your expectations? Um, I think so. I mean, I'm still very much a, um, a novice at Ironman. I mean, uh, my first time I mean, was actually in Melbourne this year. Um, so my so it was really hard to know what to expect. So, um, so, but at the end of the day, look, I think just to finish it was always my first goal. Um, and to go sub 10 hours was obviously great. Um, but it's a very, very hard day. And it'd be hard for me to go back and do it again anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you've reached the pinnacle, as they say, in, in Ironman racing. But you're actually from an ITU background. So years and years ago, you raced at quite a high level in the ITU uh, version of our sport. Tell us a little bit about your experience, especially compared to moving into the Ironman world. Um, way different. I mean, obviously, I was, uh, you know, I was, uh, you know, much lighter than I am, I am now. Obviously, the run was really, really important back in the ITU days, and we were doing a lot of fast interval running. Um, and for Ironman, it's all about distance and time on your legs. So, the training is completely different. Um, I can't say I like one more than the other. They both have their good parts and bad parts. Um, but going from ITU to to doing Ironman. Um, it's just a lot more hours, I think. And obviously with having a job and a family and traveling so much, Ironman is really hard to train for. Yeah. You didn't just race ITU, you raced at the highest level and you know, you were up there amongst some of the best in your time. What was one of your highlight, highlights or what was the pinnacle in your, in your ITU racing days? Um, I think I think just um, I think in, in '97 I, f I finished a year in third place overall in the ITU series. I think that was probably a year I was very consistent. I had, I had some second places and third places in about ten top sevens. I think so. It was a really consistent year for myself. Mm -hmm. So that's probably my, my highlight of the year. I mean, my highlight of the year I had. But even just um, you know uh, the World Long Course Champs '96 where I got fourth behind Van Laird and Welshie and Spencer Smith with another highlight too. This is my first World Championships in triathlon and to get fourth you know, was pretty cool. So. How did you come up with the idea of Two Times You and how did you start? Um, well I, I retired uh, from racing in 2000 so I spent uh, three and a half years working at Orca um, over in New Zealand and then uh, I met up with two other guys Aidan Clark and Clyde Davenport um, both um, also really keen to, to, to form Australia's um, first real sporting brand. Um, even though I'm a Kiwi, I, you know, I still <laughs> love Australia, and I and we moved here to do it. We won't <laughs> hold it against you, people. Um, and I mean, like our goal was just really to, to create a high-performance sports brand. We saw brands like Nike, Adidas really go more towards the fashion side of things, and we saw a real hole in the market. Mm -hmm. um, so from day one, we've never been about being a triathlon brand; it's always been about being a sports brand. Yep. And so our vision was just to, to, to create a really um, high performance with fabrics, technology, um, built in. Um, it's a really, really great brand. And so really, so really, and the whole name came from the fact that we basically we want to make you more than what you are, make you stronger, make you faster, to multiply your ability. So that was really where the name came from. So two times your performance, two times who you are. Exactly right, yes. Right, so not 2XU. Not 2XU or 2, or two by you as the Americans say, or, or 2XU or TXU, the, the, um, the, yeah, so it's two times you.